Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about the stone Weierstrass theorem. So this is a very important general theorem. Uh, and for us in particular it will be uh, important and, and a tool when we are going to prove the Gelfand uh, theorem for for Banach, for, for C star, for commutative C star algebras. Okay, but this will be a presentation which is independent of how we use it later, uh, but it, it's just about uh, the theorem itself and pointing out maybe the main points and the background and of course giving the proof. Okay, so what is the stone weierstrass theorem? It's a generalization of a classical theorem by, by Weierstrass. So at Weierstrass, so this was uh, 1895, 1895. I mean, he, he showed uh, that polynomials are dense in the continuous functions on, let's say, the, the interval 0 to 1 uh, with respect to uniform convergence. Uh, okay, so in, in the subnorm. Uh, so, a very important theorem because it tells us that we can approximate arbitrary continuous functions on the unit interval by polynomials. Uh, and we can uh, approximate them not just pointwise, but really in a uniform norm, uh, so in a very strong sense. So polynomials are dense in the continuous functions on a comp compact interval, let's say the interval 0 to 1. Good, okay, so this is a very classical theorem and there are many proofs uh, of this and also uh, proofs which maybe give you concrete uh, polynomials. Uh, but then actually there is a generalization of this and this is due to Stone, uh, and this generalization is then called stone weierstrass theorem, uh, where somehow yeah, Stone saw that if you want to prove this theorem of Weierstrass, actually you, you only need a very few properties of this concrete situation. So Stone, so this was quite a bit later, so this was 1948. Uh, and essentially the story is that, I mean, he was preparing a lecture on the Weierstrass theorem and then he realized that it can be generalized quite a bit because you only need not not much of this concrete structure here. Huh? And so what you need essentially is uh, that actually you have the continuous functions, okay, on this concrete interval 0 to 1, or maybe uh, you can take other intervals in R, but actually the important point is that uh, you have continuous functions on a compact interval. So K is compact. Uh, so compactness of this is important. And then you are looking on a subset of your continuous functions of which you claim which you want to be dense in this set and actually uh, you, okay, it doesn't have to be polynomials, I mean polynomials are very uh, special, but what you really need uh, is that uh, you have a, a, a sub-algebra with a few special properties. Huh? Okay, so I mean, uh, yeah, so what we have is that, so we have A, let's say, the set of which we say it want to prove it, it's dense in the continuous functions. So those are the polynomials. Uh, but, okay, for the proof, we don't have to know that it's a polynomial. So we only have to know that we have here a subalgebra of the continuous function. So namely a subalgebra which has a few special properties, which I will uh, uh, yeah, point out later. So it should, it's a special subalgebra of the continuous functions of the interval, interval k. Yeah? So he, I mean, in the classical case, of course, k is the interval 0 to 1. Uh, but yeah, it's not important that it's this concrete interval, but the compactness of this set is important, of the domain. Uh, and then for the for the functions, the polynomials which I consider, uh, I only need that they form a uh, a spe sp yeah, special subalgebra. Okay, and maybe let me right away uh, formulate the theorem of stone weierstrass uh, and then I, I will be a bit more precise on this. But maybe here is the theorem. So we look on continuous functions, but not on interval in R, but it can be uh, functions on a, on a very big set. And the po important point is that this set has to be compact. Huh? So let K be a compact uh, space or set. Okay, and then I look on the continuous functions on this set and I consider uh, 
a subset of this, which classically are the polynomials, uh, but now I consider A, so this is a subset of the continuous functions on K, and this should have some properties, so namely it should be a unital subalgebra, subalgebra, uh, which has to separate the point, which separates the points of K. Uh, and that, that's all what I require of this. Uh, and then really the, the conclusion from this very general setting is that then this subset A here is dense in C of K. Uh, of course dense with respect uh, to the, to the subnorm. Uh, we consider of course C of K as a Banach space equipped uh, with the subnorm. So then A is dense in the continuous functions of this set K. Good, okay, and of course the goal is to prove this, but before uh, we are doing this, maybe I should uh, explain a bit more. Of course I should explain what do I mean with a unital subalgebra which separates the points, but maybe I should also talk a little bit about uh, compactness, uh, compactness in general, and what we need for this. Uh, because I mean up to now we have uh, mainly looked on uh, normed vector spaces uh, and maybe compactness in this setting, but actually here this K can actually be much more general, namely I can consider this in a general topolo topological setting, uh, because later on when we are going to use this uh, for, for our Gelfand theory, actually this, this K will be such a very general object. Uh, and so maybe it's, it's important to have this in the whole generality, uh, but for this maybe I should say a few words about uh, this general setting, talk about topological spaces and what compactness means and gives us uh, in this context. Uh, so this, this I will do in the next video before I start really with, uh, with going directly to the Stone-Weierstrass theorem.